48 is on your side tonight pressing for answers while two Huntsville City School students face expulsion. Many of us have reached out to school administrators and to local law enforcement with specific questions, including what kind of guns were recovered at May Jemison and Lee High Schools? Were they loaded and who were they registered to? At this hour, they have not answered our questions. WAFA 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us now live in front of Lee High School. Claudia, I've been asking questions. You have asked questions. What are local school leaders saying? What's the newest information from police? Yes, I've tried to find answers to the many unanswered questions that parents and guardians have, but the Huntsville City School Superintendent and elected board members have no comment and no further information other than what we received at yesterday's press conference. But I was able to speak with an attorney about the legal fallout these two students may be facing. I think everybody just needs to be on guard if if these children are hearing uh, other people talking about you know, such and such has brought a weapon to school. They probably need to go in and notify their teacher, their principal, the school resource officer so that everybody can remain safe. Attorney Marcus Hilstowski's advice echoes that of Huntsville City Schools leadership. Superintendent Christy Finley announced that security at Lee High and May Jamison High each caught a student on campus armed with a gun. Wednesday's announcement left parents and guardians searching for answers. District leaders won't say what kind of guns were found or if they were loaded, and questions still surround whether the students intended to use the guns to hurt others. Finley said the district will use a new security system soon, though she wouldn't give details, only stating it will detect weapons. What we did learn is the two students will receive the highest levels of discipline, including expulsion. Helstowski says regardless of how serious the offense, the students are still afforded due process. The child uh, still has the opportunity to be presented with a notice of the allegations, uh, be able to go in front of the uh, Huntsville City School uh, panel, uh, be able to bring a lawyer with him to defend him if he so chooses, and uh, rebut any sort of allegations that have made, been made against him. Those hearings must happen within 10 days. I asked whether the student's parents could face charges. I don't believe that a child bringing a weapon onto a school campus could lead to any sort of liability for their parents unless somebody had been shot or injured by that weapon. We will continue to press for answers, and when we get a response, we will update you. Reporting live in Huntsville, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48, on your side.